Shut up. Let's get into the rumors. Let's go. Sorry, they're this, fasting this over there. Disgusting. <laughs> Listen up. This this is is in. All the gossip. gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, is this woman suing two chains? Now, I don't know if you had a chance to see this video, but he had put out this vlog. And it was hashtag, is this your thought? Apparently, some women had gotten backstage at one of his shows. Cap One, I guess, brought it backstage. And here's the video. Rose, what's up, my papa? Is this your back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, Nana? Here for the cold, baby. Put some on your back. The show is over. This is what's the name? Tina. Is it T I N A? T S C I N A. Rabbi T. Today. Why you back here? You in a blog territory? Oh, sh this is going on a blog for real. Oh. <laughs> You saw the show? I did. I missed the Augusta Salina one, though. Like, mm -hmm. You, Augusta Salina. Babe, hey, listen. Just walk out the door. Okay. <laughs> August Alcelina. I think she meant August Alcina. Yeah, I saw that chick begging on Instagram to come to the Breakfast Club for an interview. Now, I'm going to get to that part. Oh, boy. She went ahead and she put on Instagram a picture of herself with her feet up. I'm at my lawyer's right now, finalizing the paperwork. Be prepared for a civil no lawsuit. Damn you had no right to ruin my life and tarnish my image like this. Now you will both answer for it. And she said... I feel like 2 Chainz should feel as much embarrassment as I have endured these last couple of days for what he has done in my life. He has not apologized publicly and tries to contact me privately. Everyone repost this at Breakfast Club, at See the God, at Angela Yee, at DJ Envy, because 2 Chainz should be donkey of the day. Let's get me on the Breakfast Club so I have a chance to tell my side of the story. Shut up, ho. Get quiet. We don't want to hear what you got well, to say. Now, in all fairness, in her defense, she didn't do anything. It's not like she was back there being a groupie or, I mean, she shouldn't have been backstage for no reason, but it is embarrassing. They did put up a video of her and she's not like she What was you backstage crazy. for? If you don't want to be labeled a thought, then don't be backstage and looking like a thought. And there be way more dudes backstage that don't belong there than females all the time. What she you doing backstage? She wants to check. That's what she wants. You ain't had no demo? Well, she's embarrassed. Yeah. She's embarrassed because they put this video out. Is this your thought? But she didn't do anything. You it's not no like she was back there on her knees doing anything. We ain't see that part. We don't know if that went down or not. You didn't ask to kick a freestyle. What was you back there for, Well, Two Chains is a very nice guy, and I'm sure he didn't want to ruin someone's life right. this video. She, she wants to check. But yeah, I don't know about coming on the Breakfast Club. You're not getting the Breakfast Club. Nah, that's not Good luck happen. to you. All we right. have standards over here. I saw Terry on oh, our video the other day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Terry was and on. We will not allow stuff like that here at the Breakfast oh, Club. Oh, we have standards yeah. now. Right, I We've had you. some bottom of the brow people here. <laughs> yeah, we, have. we ain't got to scrape that much at the bottom of the okay. brow. Okay. <laughs> all right, now Columbus Short is his role in Jeopardy on Scandal. They better not get rid of Columbus Short. After all of those fights that he's gotten into and all of the negative press, now the show's creator, Shonda Rhimes, saying she doesn't tolerate that and she's issuing him a warning. He has to get his personal issues sorted. You can't be out there knocking people out well, and knocking a their teeth down their throat. What do you expect? Okay, well, he's in trouble for it now. And uh, Portia Williams from Real Housewives of Atlanta, she might also be let go. Now she had that violent assault against Kenya Moore at the reunion and they're saying she was already on thin ice, but now producers think she's more trouble than she's worth. I thought that's what actually sold the show Me and made too. people excited. All right, well, I that heard they didn't want no iffy threes because you know Portia's an iffy three. She is not a three. The only reason she's a three because of the hair and makeup that Bravo provides. If you had to choose between Portia and Kenya, who would you pick? I don't know. Pick, pick now. Hurry. Kenya's First about, one that comes Kenya's to your mind. about a five. So you choose Kenya over Portia. Yeah, she was a strong eight back in her day. She's oh about boy. a five All now. right, guys. All so right. I'll take a five over an iffy three. And that is your... Numbers don't lie. See the Boomer report. I'm Angela Yee. Numbers don't lie. Thank you, Miss <laughs> Yee. Now. Numbers don't